Uh, our special guest this morning, she is the fantastically outspoken Katie Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the self-proclaimed uh, alpha female, of course. Uh, you're one of the first. You were the first contestant to refuse uh, Alan Sugar and Joel, weren't you? I'll call yeah. him Alan Sugar. You can call him Lord if you want to, right? No, He's Shooks. A, right, Shooks. 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 <laughs> uh, no, Shooks. And uh, these days you're a business consultant. Yeah. A business consultant, that is, when you are not upsetting or perhaps dividing the nation. I mean, this, this thing, uh, it, was, it was on an ITV uh, show, you're talking about names, wasn't it? And, yes. and, and, and what you can read about someone's class from their names. And I was merely saying that a, a child's name for me is a shortcut to understanding a lot about that child and, in fact, those child's parents. And when I hear, Tyler, get back here, yeah. screeched across the children's playground, you know, I can picture a mum leggings, Primark bags bigger than the baby she's carrying, that kind of thing. Not a child I want my parent and my children playing with. OK, and uh, does the same apply at the opposite end of the scale as well? Absolutely. So Florence, Bertie, Christopher, Isabella, just delightful, intelligent Oh, children, no, no, you see, I, I, if you turn around and say... Do think... you want me to say Matt? OK, No, Matt. no, 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 God, God, no, no. I was just thinking, if you, if you just turn around and say, well, yeah, I can imagine if you say Bertie or Flo, you imagine some sort of... Uh, sort of posh inbred wandering around 10 Downing Street, bossing everybody around from public <laughs> school, then I would, I would say then that's fair treatment. But you're, you're saying, you're saying Ty Tyler Common, Flo, better. Posh. better. Yes, I'm yeah. saying better. I am a snob. I won't apologise for it. I stand by everything I've said. And I absolutely want my children playing with intelligent children and people that have intelligent parents. So are, are common people... Unintelligent. I'm getting hysterical. <laughs> it's like well, Pantone, it's not even Christmas. I, know, but, I mean, when I say Dividing the Nation, do you know, on YouTube now, we looked at it, it's 10 million people have watched that clip now. Yes, it's oh. gone a little bit global. <laughs> the Australians love it. Um, and people in the street are stopping me, going, rate my name, rate my name, come on. Well, come on, then, let's go down there, then, Anne. Anne, yeah. yes. Um, <laughs> not my favourite name. <laughs> It's a little bit lacking, isn't it? It's a little bit what? Lacking. Lacking? Lacking in, you know, inspiration, I like to think. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> it's a classic it's a name. Is it We've classic? had queens called Joe? out. What Joe? about Joe? Joe. I think rather, you know, you can't but love a friendly Joe, can you? Okay. And I've, I've known a lot of Joes that have been terribly helpful in my life. So, Joe, good. OK, nice. Matthew? Matthew, I've, I've said, you know, I've dated quite a lot of Matthews. <laughs> Dating a Matthew <laughs> is one thing. Conceiving a Matthew, quite another. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what and about, and what about Katie? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure that's a great name, to be honest. I, I'd, I'd stick that probably My on... My sister's a Katie, so I'm a Matthew that's and That's an Katie. average Joe, isn't it? <laughs> you know, <laughs> average Joe, average Katie. You know, uh, so average. would you go down the Paula Yates road of naming your children really something very special, like mm. Fifi, Trixie Bell and Tiger that's Lily? That's another hate for me, celebrity <laughs> names. If you're not reading newspapers, you're reading celebrity magazines, and that's not the best thing to be doing. But her it? idea was that you live up to a really push, <laughs> smashing name. Yeah, I think you live name. up to an Isabella, you live up to a Bertie, you live up to a Florence. I don't see many people in yeah. Cabinet called Trixabel Lulu Fifi. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> heaven, heaven forbid, but yeah, not yet. Now, Holly Willoughby looked pretty uh, angry. She was quite angry. Was she angry or was that a bit put up? Put... No, no, I think it was really good because instead of her being the professional presenter that she is, and she's fantastic at that, she just turned into a mum. And she went, no, that's outrageous. You can't say that about children. And I've heard a lot of this kind of, oh, innocent children. Oh, like, they don't so tell sweet. me about it. Doesn't it make you sick? A, it does make children, you sick. Children, children, innocent children. Innocent children. But oh. you come to a playground any day with me and you will find, you know, the Shane <laughs> turning up late, not got the right kit, not done his home learning, disrupting the class. And I say no. OK, Anne, what have you got I'll for be us? Disruptive in class, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Not only have you said that about names, I mean, you dare to say what a lot of people I know do think. Uh, you've actually said, wouldn't you, you wouldn't employ somebody fat because the implication of their whole image is that they're lazy. Yes, I'll just check out the studio audience. But, um, yes, <laughs> what I think is that fat people, <laughs> obese people, look lazy. So I wouldn't employ a, a fat, sort of obese person, because it's the wrong impression. If you're that large, the solution's in your own hands, isn't it? And I think you need to do a little bit less of that and a little bit more of that. <laughs> I have to say, you see... I'm not sure why this is so surprising. Well, I, I, well, and, and, People and, say it to me all the time. And this is the was, stuff we all say. Uh, there was uh, uh, John Inverdale. Uh, yeah, oh, he came yeah, out with these comments so about right. Marion Bartoli. And, She's uh, not the best looker. I'm not the best looker. People call me horse face. I say, yes, you've, I've got a horse face. That's fair. <laughs> You've, got, you a see, big this is You've what... got a big nose. Yeah, I've got a big nose. That's this entirely fair. This is what I like yes, about nice. you, because you... 
You say it how you see it, you say what you think, and in a world, I find, where people's... Where just because a lot of people disagree with you, that suddenly means that you're not allowed to say these right. things. You and, don't and pay any apologize. attention. Right. You know, so Inverdale says she's not a looker. <laughs> no, she's not a looker. BBC apologises. Sainsbury's, I won't serve you until you get off your mobile phone. Perfectly right. Grow a pair. Stand up for your staff. Sainsbury's apologises. All we do is apologise, and I will not apologise for what I say. And you also, you you take it, because yeah. I, I've seen the stuff that people post about you, and it's, 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 it, it ranges from the, the mildly uh, provocative offensive. to the downright offensive. Yes, and, and I've you're... taken to wearing my pants on my head, because I've ca been called a piece of female genitalia so many times, I thought, sod it, I'll wear pants on my head. <laughs> <laughs> No, what about a question from you, Joan? <laughs> <laughs> you look I'm... kind of frightened to put your, your head in the lion's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know, um, sometimes, you know, like, when you're doing these debates and things, do you do, you do, do, you do it for a reaction sometimes, or is it genuinely...? Good question. Are you playing up for the cameras a bit, do you? Because it gets attention and it I presumably gets your work. Do you so think... What's so interesting, I think, is it's what we all... Well, not all say, because obviously a lot of people disagree with me, yes. absolutely. But a lot of people in playgrounds will say, oh, steer clear, that's Tyler, run away, run away. You yeah. know, people will say inside their houses, and, and people will email me privately to say, I'm a teacher, I've been a teacher 30 years, I completely agree with everything you're saying. So, no, I I'm not putting this on, it's not for attention, yeah. it's exactly what I think, I'm telling it exactly straight, I'm saying what people say behind their doors, I mean, I'm just I saying it publicly. I for that, but the only thing that worries me is it <laughs> seems to bring out the worst in other people as well. You know, you suddenly get this just, response, but, but actually it's an, media an, thing, isn't it's it, an where expression every... of nastiness, there's some of the people email and you say, people yeah, you're dead right, and then they come out with even more prejudiced comment, yes. comments. Yes, yeah. It's like you're encouraging... You're prejudice to what I've said. I have no prejudice. I mean, I don't particularly... Well, I think like other, it. other people but are other become people prejudiced are. against you. Oh, well, I... I Th that but... you, you will say one thing that is quite provocative, and then the people that criticise you for it, <coughs> what they write is absolutely downright yeah. vile. We went across so that... Westminster Bridge yesterday with a very left-wing journalist that wanted to write a piece about how terrible I am, and I'm sure he will. Um, and he stopped a few people that were sort of looking at me or talking to me, and he said, well, what do you think about what she said? And they said, you know what, she's absolutely right. We all say it, but no one can say it, we all, no one can say it anymore because we, there's so many police about what we can say. I may have said... Because look, of social media? I think social media is something that brings attacks closer to your door. But I think it's important we can still have a laugh at ourselves, oh, say so, things. You know, I, I so said, agree. you know, ginger babies like real babies, but so much harder to love. And I stand by that as well. <laughs> oh! I don't, I don't think that's harsh. Women say it all the time. It's the first question I but ask when I have But that's the thing, people do say it all the time. It's people just, do I guess, say that maybe there's... Maybe, would know, maybe because agree, you're on the, sure. the television that people expect you to... I don't know why, all, why, why is everyone doing this weird woo thing? I don't know. No, I, I don't, don't know. know. Um, changing tack uh, quite a bit, I just, uh, there's a couple of questions about The Apprentice. One that I'm really interested in yeah. your answer, which is the row between uh, Sugar and Stella English. I mean, she yeah. said that the job she got was a non-job, so she went for constructive dismissal and lost. Alan Sugar is now going after Good her for, for his... Exp really? Good for the Shugs, every time. She knew what she took on. She put herself out there for a reality TV show. You know when you're part of that show what you're about but to take on. going after I her walked for away the expenses? I mean, that's yeah, a bit good, low, good. Really. He won and he's going to prove he won. Imagine and I if everybody good bought one him. of his rubbish hi-fis, went to get their money back. He wouldn't be the man he is today, would he? She took that case to a court. She made a fool of herself and he is going to rub her nose right in it. Admittedly, with me, that rubbing the nose thing would be easier, <laughs> but for her... <laughs> OK, and, and one last very quick one. Uh, Nick Hewer said uh, at the start of this Week that he thought that uh, that Shugs may depart from The Apprentice, that it's distracting from his, his chief business concerns. I think I think he may pull from it. I think that's fair, but I think it's been a really good show, and I still know loads of people around the country that love watching it. Yeah, yeah, you know, they criticise the people yeah. in it, but that's part of the panto of yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, for sure. People love it. Yeah, it is a panto. For sure, Casey Hopkins. I, I well, fantastic to have you with us. It really is this morning. Yeah? <laughs> and, uh, the email system is pouring through, as I'm sure. <laughs> we can talk about some of them during the break. Uh, yeah. You so Kirsty Kirst said, "Rate my name." Yeah. And um, unfortunately, Kirsty. Not this Kirsty, but another Kirsty was the one that ran off with my husband. What was his she name? She stole. <laughs> so really, I feel torn. <laughs> oh, he ran yay off from the well. audience. <laughs> A yay, I say. But you know, it's not personal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right.